understand the magnitude of this untold stories episode four today man we got a real bay area pioneer man he got he got his name cemented in this pavement out here you feel me the cutty man you feel me all the way from the v man the cutty kilo kirk kilo kirk was popping with you man how you doing man yeah yeah yes sir so it's a pleasure to have you today bro yeah for sure and uh, get to talking about some untold stories, some real cutty stories, man. You feel me from okay. back in the day that people don't even know about. You yeah. Know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, good. it's lit. Um, so just to start off, how did you get your name Kilo Kurt? Really, it uh, it comes from uh, when I was like like young. But uh, remember the uh, N.W.A. song? Uh, N.W. Uh, Easy had a song called Boys in the Hood. Yeah, yeah, and, heck like, yeah. Kilo G. Oh, uh, right, yeah. So that kind of already put it out there. But as I was growing up, you know what I'm saying, I started already getting in the game, you know what I'm saying? I started right, selling keys and shit, so right, right. my homeboys just, they just stuck with me right, right. as a kid, so that's what, kind of where it came from, right. you selling dope and shit, you know what I'm I kind of so. figured, but I didn't want to, like, jump to conclusions, you feel me? But I was like, he probably got it from selling dope. Right? Yeah, because uh, <laughs> one, one, when I was young, it's probably about, uh, probably like about, about 13, so it was one night, it was, we had like a, in the neighborhood, my partner, the Mac. Mm -hmm. uh, he was like a, a real player type dude. Right, right. So he had a, a, a party. It was called like the Players Ball. Right, right. So all the I'm talking about every damn near every dude in the hood right. was went to this motherfucker. It was lit. So I stayed out though. I was like only one grind. So I kind of like started off with like two ounces. Right. Cut it down. That motherfucker sold out hella quick. I'm like damn. I'm kind of the only one with dope. Right. right? So trap booming. Yeah. So then in the end. I ended up going, one of my partners, I saw him, he usually served me, he didn't have nothing, so I ended up going to one of my other OGs. He was like, uh, what you want? He really want, He didn't really want to serve me because he was like, knew my family, yeah, he, yeah. he didn't know I was yeah, really, he just really know I was in the game, right, you know right. what I'm saying? So, and he said, man, what you want? I said, man, I'm uh, trying to buy like two ounces. He said, man, you buying that much? I was like, hell yeah. He said, all right. He said, give me your money. I gave him the money. That's my... He take the money and then come back. He can't. He gave me nine ounces. Ooh, he put you on. Put them on. He served. He served me for the two and then he fronted me. Right, right. Man, I cut all that motherfuckers down in rocks. Yeah. Man, I sold every one of them. I'm talking about when I woke up in the morning. I count that motherfucker. I had about man, about twelve thousand dollars. Ooh, smooth hunt. That in that night. Yeah, I swear to God, because yeah. nobody's telling me I'm right, right. I'm just. Right. Everything, everybody just come to me. Right, right. So I'm happen. like, damn. So after that, it just like kind of stuck. He was like, man, this, this nigga, the kilo, this, yeah, nigga, like this, nigga, this, this nigga, this little young nigga <laughs> right, grinding, you right. feel me? So after that, it just, it became, you know what I'm saying? I just started selling rocks every day. Like me and my partners. Kilo like, Kurt. So it's every day. And then I had other partners, you know what I'm saying? Them niggas was like already hella grinding. Right, right, so right. I kind of like, you know what I'm saying, got that. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some of my partners, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Man, like I had a partner named Ray, you know what I'm saying? This nigga, this nigga used to hella grind. Right. And I, I didn't even know this nigga, one time this nigga bought like, like 19 quarter ounces. Oh. It was hella, I'm yeah. like, God damn, buddy. we was hella young, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. We were going to like, he was going to still going to like, you know what I'm saying, junior high and shit. Right. So we're kind of like, you know, going up under that, it's just like, we. that's all we did. Every day we got up in the press, we sold fucking rocks. So as it built on when I got down to like high school, I was already in the game. And so it was just like I was building a name like Kilo and it just it just stuck like that. 
Man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That's P. So when, when did you meet Mac Dre? Like you grew up with him? Yeah, yeah. Mac really uh you know Mac Dre's uh from Oakland. Okay. So when I uh met Dre, it had to be around say like 87, 88. Mm -hmm. He was in uh, he was in the boys ranch. Okay. So I was the Cuddies was already they was kinda already affiliated on Leonard. Right. Now I'm, I'm from the Crest, but I was like from you know Simonton Street. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in and out of the Crest so like coming way over to Leonard Street, right, right. Uh, Mark is like at my age. I don't really, my parents, I don't really supposed to be that far. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, your parents don't know you selling dope. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Well, we just was, you know, doing it. Our neighborhood had right. everything going, right. but you know, they, they think I, I play Pop Winter. I was selling dope in Pop Winter. Come on. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. I, the coach used to have to tell me like, I'm gonna tell your mama you ain't coming to practice. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. I, like, I know all the plays. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna come to the game. I used to be like a flanker back, oh, okay, and then okay. I was on defense a lot, right, you know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. So, that, that was the main shit, right, I was hella right. fast and shit, so. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? So, that's kind of what, so when Dre uh, was on at yeah, Fouts, it's like a boys ranch. Right, right. So, he called home, like on a furlough. So, he came home on a furlough, and that's when I kind of, like, met him, and then went to the studio, and he recorded, uh, like, two hardware radio. Mm. That was, like, on a like on furlough. Right, right, right. So, when he finally got out, you know, we was already, like, Kind of like romping, you know what I'm saying? We was, right, right. We was affiliating our crew. Right, right. So that's kind of, so I said around 87, 88. 87, 88? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, then Thiz was made, Thiz, was it Thiz Nation was made in like 90? No, nah, really, uh, Thiz Entertainment was first. I got, yeah, uh, Thiz I Thiz went to, we, we went to the feds first. Right, right. So after we got off the feds, we, we started Thiz Entertainment, because right, at first right. it was Romp Records, right. but they started indicting all the cutties for bank right. robbery. So right, right. we kind of like switched over, and then when I got out, Everybody kept saying we thizzing, right, we right. thizzing. So we was like, we was gonna, we was gonna say thizz entertainment. Right, right. So mm -hmm. it was kind of like you know, right. taking on that that persona, but you know, making it into a record label. Yeah. yeah. And then thizz 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 nation came after G D passed away. It really was in the makings of when Dre was here because oh, okay. he was reaching out to the bank. Right. Right. So we had had a, a studio in uh, West Oakland. Uh, off of Popular, you know what I'm saying? So it was Soundwave Studio. Soundwave yeah, Studio. Yeah. Yeah. So we had a studio over there. So that's kind of how I started. I, I started a mixtape. Yeah. You know, I recorded hella people from the back. Right, right. And I let Dre hear hella songs. He was like, oh, that's dope, Cuddy, that's right. dope. And then, you know what I'm saying? And then right in the makers of that, he like passed away. So oh. so we kind of had the songs. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I was kind of stuck with him. Right. I'm like, man, what should I do? And then I just, and then, you know, he passed with his. Uh, put Thiz Nation, Thiz Entertainment, okay. which we left right there, and then when this Thiz Nation became a label for the Bay Area, really a distributing company. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hey, what, hey, Kilo, what about the Rom Clown? Who came up with that uh, that, that whole uh, graphic? Like really all the cutties, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So we had uh, we had started, we had got tattoos. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In the pen. So yeah. it was kind of like us but it was the, it, it was the clown, the, the Jack in the Box. So. Yeah, it, yeah, like coming out with the weed. So we all just sat and thought how we was on, you know what I'm saying, how we was on our, uh, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, everybody yeah. came up with it, like, what yeah. should it be? It's what really the Joker, be? though. It ain't a clown, you know. We, yeah, don't, we yeah. don't really say clown. We, we call it the, the wrong Joker. And yeah, shit, yeah, you know the wrong saying? Joker. But, yeah, so, but yeah, that's how it really came about in the, uh, in the pen. We already had the... Uh, we already had uh, some jackets, the Rockalone jackets, which, you know what I'm saying, had a man on there with the weed. Mm -hmm. I know we had a shirt somewhere, you know, kind of made of it, but that was our original one. And yeah. then we went in there, we said we were going to do the romp. Yeah. And they did the, you guys just got named after that old school, the old school romper room. Uh, yeah, that kind of started like when we was younger, mm -hmm. and then we used to always play. You know, we'd yeah. be out there because we young, imagine, you know, we still was teenagers. No, for sure, So for we sure. still yeah. had that, that personality of playing and having fun, so we'd be out there on the dope track. And, the, and, and we'd just start saying, rollers. Yeah, hell yeah. Everybody started hiding their dope, and then we like, in Oakland. Yeah. And they like, oh, y'all play too much, y'all don't know, so and they, like, then dudes just start, really start, you know. Just romping around here for At first, we, we was trying to, like, we didn't take on that name. Mm -hmm. We like, hell no, nah, we ain't no mess nasty kids, nigga, we, we, we gangsters. Yeah, man. hell yeah. That's, that's some, we ain't no rock, we was taking, then we had, we had some shirts called, we put the uh, Leonard Street family. Yeah. And we had the, uh, if you're, uh, you gotta probably look on one of Drake videos, California Living Video. Mm -hmm. And we had some shirts, and we had the uh, uh, now we had the rump room crossed out on the on the front, uh -huh. and we had LSF on the back. Okay. Little Street Family, like we okay. ain't trying to be like, on. Oh yeah, we're not the rump room. Nah, cause they saying we like Miss Nancy. Kid. We, like, <laughs> like, like, we know who Miss Nancy is. Mm. Well, Coolio was originally uh, started, from the Bay Area, and then he came to uh, yeah. Coolio came to uh, to the Bay Area, I think around like probably eighty seven, eighty eight. 
Um, he was like from uh, Watts, you know what I'm saying? So when he came out there, he was kind of, he used to be on that time too. Right, right, right. He used to really like do a drive-by shooting. <laughs> yeah, that we like cut Cause I would see somebody we didn't like, yeah, they start shooting. Yeah. I'm like, Cuddy, we don't, you can't do it like that out here. <laughs> like, man, I'm like, you can't shoot at a ice man, you can't do a drive-by like that. I'm talking broad daylight. He lied, he lied. He's like, Cuddy, you see him here, they start shooting. I'm like, Cuddy, man, dude, we don't do it like yeah, that. Right? You got to change that yeah, kind of memo. You know? Yeah, that nigga used to be sick. As soon as he see he shoot, he drive-by shooting. Now, I saw he did that a couple times. Cowboy. Cowboy. The shit, huh? Yeah, he'll drive-by shooting for sure, yeah. That's the hell of fun, yeah. So you just wait. So you grew up in, like you were born in Vallejo. Or? Yeah, I'm from I'm from Vallejo. Oh, okay. Crest. All right. I mean, when I came to the hospital, I went straight to the Crest, Simonson right. Street. Yes, sir. Yes, block. When did you when you meet like Diggs and everybody? When it's did that my come big, big cousin. So oh, okay. Born, yeah, he was born from me, so I was born to Maul. Maul, my my little cousin. Yeah. Maul is from uh like you say kind of say the Mark Mark Street. Like, yeah, that's a Doobie. Yeah, Doobie's from that. But, Doobie from the top of uh, Mark, Marks, you know right? What I'm Mark's dad. Yeah, like this, that the half, and then yeah. Mar more this way. But this all they all from half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. more from the half to Sawyer Street. Yeah. How far is all them neighborhoods from the crash? Right, right there, park? man. We can right we can walk. Right. Okay. Like, literally, like you know. So if we funk, we can just right, right, meet up right there. We'll meet up on Gateway. Right, right. And we'll right. Meet in Period. two seconds. Yeah. How'd you get into music and stuff like that? You said you started, like... Really, uh, since I've been uh, young, back in uh, Run DMC days. Oh, okay, yeah, You yeah. know what I'm saying? Back when we, uh, DJ Rail, yeah, yeah. we had a group. It used to be, uh, DJ Rail was our DJ, uh, Freaky D. Yeah. He was one of the rappers, and my partner, BDI. Okay. He was, uh, he was one of the rappers. Okay. DJ Rail, and then yeah. I was, like, kind of like the manager in them days. Right, 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 right. And my mama, if I'd be good, she'd go to Rainbow Records and buy me a record. Okay. Back in the days, the LPs used to be like twelve dollars and then you can get the single yeah, yeah. for like I think seven ninety nine. Oh okay. So yeah, I used to, yeah. every week I'll get a single for yeah. sure. But if I be good I might get the whole L P. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I be I became a supplier really. Right, right. Like I got all the records. You right, know what right. I'm saying? Yeah. I kinda had the DJ equipment and my other two pounds rap. Right. So after that it just kinda like we was already into emotion, music. getting it right. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. So what's the what's the furthest you guys ever went out to go do a show? Like any other, any other uh, countries? No, uh, no, we never. I never, you know, got to make it out to no other countries. Cause mm -hmm. like I said, I always been into crime, so they yeah, always yeah, never sure. let us get no, no passport. Like I said, I went to jail when I was uh, young. Yeah. So by the time I got out, we was already on federal parole. Oh yeah, you can't do one. So so what, was you in the pen with Dre? Yeah, Come me and Dre we went to jail together in Fresno. Okay. Me, him, and Diggs. Okay. We had a, a conspiracy with bank robbery, and then you know. Back robbery, so. How long did y'all go down for? I did uh, close to nine. Dre did about like six. Diggs did about close to about 11, 12. Okay. Like did y'all say, did any of y'all share sales or anything? Yeah, me and Dre, so we did everything. Like I said, right. me, me and Dre first started in Fresno, we did our, we did, we went to Fresno, then we fought our trial. Like we did like about five, 15 months in Fresno. Right. Then they came and picked us up and went to Kern County. Did like four months in Kern County, and they took us to NBC in LA. Did like three months out there, then they finally sent us to Lompoc. Yeah, they was just bouncing around, bouncing us. Right. We were like, "Cutty, this shit is crazy." Shackled <laughs> up, we young nigga. We like, man, yeah, this yeah. is over our head. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? But they kept us together for the, me, and then we finally got to LA. They sent him to another floor and kept me on the eighth floor where I was at. Right, right. And then, then we finally met up in Lompoc. Oh, yeah. And we all got to came to Lompoc. Right. Started with me and Dre, and then Ray came, then Big Don, and Freaky D, and Baby Rod, B, you know what I'm saying? Oh, right. The whole romp down there. Every nigga that was getting locked up was right, down there. Right. Kind of, we was right there. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Any, any like crazy stories while you was in there with Dre? Like Hell yeah. Uh, this used to be hella shit because, you know, we uh, we used to, like, play uh, sports and shit, you know what I'm saying? So right. We was coming off the street, young niggas, yeah. you know what I'm saying, off of a little sport career. So, uh, my first uh, day there, you know, they had a little team, it was called the Mandela's. It's like all the best niggas. <laughs> the Mandela's. Yeah, yeah, the best niggas. That's from, <laughs> you know, that's from the yeah. country, every yeah. every state, you know, right, being right. on one team. So, I'm, I'm like, I, I know I can play. Right. I never really saw Dre play. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't know he said he can play, so I never really, you know, we, when we got older, we was already selling dope, so we right, weren't right. playing sports right. no more, but we all come from sports. Right. So, we get in there, first day I go out, I'm playing, I go trial for second base. First ball come to me, that motherfucker eat me up. 
I'm like, oh shit. So you know after you get ate up, you, your mind ain't right, man. I'm talking every other one was eating me up. I'm like, damn, I'm way better than this. I was the weak. Man, and so Dre out in left field. Man, they hit a deep one. This nigga run. I seen run take off. This motherfucker catch it over his shoulder. Oh, he's wrong. Man, I, never, I couldn't believe it. I said, man, how the hell? This nigga do this shit. I ain't never saw this shit. So he done made it. He come in doing all the shit. Like, yeah, Cuddy, man, you just got to keep your head in the game. I was like, man, what you trying to say? I said, Cuddy, you trying to say you better than me? He's he like, I'm just saying you got to keep your head in the game. And he was like, he kept saying, Frazier barbecue, bitch. You know, that's how we say at the end of the word. We're going to say, bitch. So I'm like, I'm like, man, how this nigga? He was wrong. So long story short, we go to the next thing. I finally get there and get my shit back. I make the team. Right, right, right. Man, we get the plan in the season. He nothing like that first shit. Like he was drunk after? Was he? Oh, <laughs> his mind went in. I don't know if his mind went in it. Right, right, right. But that oh, nigga right. used to be fucking bullshit out there. Right, right. I swear the ball come to him, that nigga, it'd be a fly ball. He'd run up, run back. He be doing hell and shit. I'm like, is he gonna catch this motherfucker? Right. And he finally position. catch it. Yeah. I'm like, oh shit. Like, man, this is hella nerve wracking. Right, right, right. I'm like, man, Cuddy, what the fuck wrong? He's like, Cuddy, I feel like a joystick was controlling me. I said, what? <laughs> man, you out there bullshit, right. Cuddy. Right. And then he'd be out there talking to hella people. Right. The ball come go over his head, he'd be talking. He never took it serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, man, this nigga. And then he'd hit a ball, say he had a double. Right. He gonna get a long single. Cause he gonna run all the way around the base and then go back and check it. I'm like, man, this nigga was uh, everything he did was like hella animated. I swear to God. And then one time we played, uh, we had this football team. He a receiver, and they got this team called the Jaguars, the Bloods. It ain't nobody never ain't scored on them in like three, four years. Oh, it was raw. So nobody ain't scored on them. Right, right. They killing us. That was about my forty or nothing. Yeah, he was dying. We ain't tripping. We dying. They killed us. We, nobody beat him, so we ain't tripping. They, they smashed us. Man, this nigga Dre, go out. I see it. I'm on. I'm, we dead. I'm. They done whoop me all day. I threw me everywhere. Man, they throw a bomb. I see Dre running, but I see the dude, the safety girl, catch it. I'm like, that's an interception. Man, dude went up to catch it, but he missed it. And Dre ended up catching the motherfucker oh. and burnt them motherfuckers for yeah, a touchdown. Got a there. Man, yeah. got a touchdown. Yeah. First touchdown against these niggas in three. Right. Oh, he was wrong for that. Man, man, first, he did, first, first he did the uh, E.P. Sheffield, <laughs> then that nigga did the centipede. Damn. Damn. They were yeah, so mad. And we picked that nigga up and, ch and carried him off the field. That shit, I would have like, we won. It was like, y'all didn't win. We was like, nigga, we don't want to score with y'all niggas. Yeah, like, we, we won. won. Hey, Y'all talking about nobody scored. Man, I couldn't believe it. That motherfucker out there blew me up the smoke. Drake come running. Hey, that's and and burnt him for like 40 yards. He did the icky shovel yeah. and the centipede. <laughs> they was hella mad. I was <laughs> cracking up. We was like, man, that nigga cool. Picked that nigga up and walked off the, <laughs> off the crowd. They yeah, that's a centipede, though. That's a yeah, they was like, it was 40 uh, to 6. Yeah, right? Like, nobody that. never scored on y'all. We the first yeah, motherfucker to score. Fuck it, that's a victory right there. Yeah, yeah, he nigga. came through when they least expected. Drake came through when right. they least expected on niggas. Like, he used to be hella funny. Everything he used to do, I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah, he was, yeah, he was like a, uh, yeah, that's why I used to call him like Silky Slim and shit. Silky Slim. Yeah, that's, that's, why, that's, why, that's why AKA he said. Yeah. yeah. Really, it came from like, he used to, uh, that nigga started getting a perm. And they ain't making a pin, you know, you gotta make way. Right. So these motherfuckers had rollers, but they was pink and light blue yeah, rollers. Yeah, yeah, like the lady was old. Like yeah, that. so that's what they gave you. Yeah, so you yeah. <laughs> Them niggas wearing it, and they used to wear that shit like all week. We like, Cuddy, why you fuck you wearing that shit so much? That shit ain't cool. He's like, yeah. Cuddy, I'm setting my hair. I'm like, man, fuck all that stupid shit, man. Right, right. And he used to be having his hair, he used to be silky as shit. Yeah. But him and his little uh, pimp nigga from Frisco used to fuck with each other. Like, uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So they used to be. Trying to get them a pimp game. Man, but... they used to be having their shit together. It was like smooth niggas and uh -huh. shit. So they were like silky slim. Yeah, I heard that a couple of times he mentioned that. That nigga was fly as fuck in the pen. Uh huh. <laughs> Y'all was in the rapping and shit too, freestyling. Man, that. nah, really, that it was him. So it, he used to be him and my nigga Spice from mm -hmm. uh, uh, the Manor and shit. He we, he was raw too. So when uh, hella niggas that come in the pen, any nigga we used to take to the band room. Mm -hmm. Drake's to eat they ass. Yeah, right. I don't care where they from. So it was my nigga from L.A. This nigga named Zulu. 
He was competitive. He used to be like, I got another nigga for Dre now. Bring him to the bedroom. He gonna eat Dre. <laughs> we go get him, Dre. Eat that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Every nigga. So that's that was our shit, Dre. So and we used to do shows in there and shit. You know what I'm saying? So it was, you know, the pen was like keeping. You know what I'm saying? Just like keeping it, everyone focused on. It'd be some old niggas in there sounding like the Temptations. Yeah, right. I swear to God, they have a deep voice, nigga. They have a nigga with that low voice, like the whole the whole shebang. Yeah, and they be dancing. They have on khakis and they put glitter on the side of the motherfuckers. Like the, swear to God, and be performing. What? They do the moves. Hey, and, yeah, yeah, we sound like them. What? They sound like them Why niggas. Not? They yeah, got yeah. the high pitch nigga. You know the nigga that got the white boys? That shit's amazing. Like, yeah. You had the David Ruffin. They yeah, got the David Ruffin. Eddie Kendrick, <laughs> the Paul, and all the niggas, man. I swear that's to God. Cool. And they'd be performing. Dope. We used to perform. Oh, we have our hoodies in. Right, right. And Dre be up there, so we, that shit was in the pen. So when, we was, when did you know Dre was dope at rapping? When did everybody know? I tell them when they came with Too Hard for the Radio. It was a rap. We was like, no, this nigga the nigga. Right. Fresh out of Fox. We was like, he got out of Fox. I really, like, the Cuddies already was doing their thing. They was already, like, had the romp. They was already had, you know what I'm saying, EB the dad, you know, they called him the Daddy of the Hood. He already had, like, the crew set. Right. The nigga Ray, Wags, uh, it was GB, Big Don, Peanut. Them niggas was already on winners. So when we me and Cleek, and, and them come already, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They already there had it lit, so we just right. added, right. came right. into the crew. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it was already lit. That was that was definitely one of my favorite. So when I got there, Dre was already went to Fox. Okay. So about the time him getting out of on the furlough, that's when I was there. Mm. But I was already we already all from the crest, but we all went hanging on Leonard. Mm. So that kind of like E B kind of like brought us all to Leonard. You know what I'm saying? Then Bray and Wags, you know, which is his uh, his nephew, was, you know what I'm saying? More, you know, Bray really was my age, so that, like, became dude, you know, that became the person I was around all the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Wags was a little older than he was like, where all age smoking weed, you know what I'm saying? That's what our crew was. We smoking weed, some dope, so we yeah. all came. What, when did he, when was he recording them songs in the pen? Like, because I know he was doing, like, he did the, uh, he did a, C, a CD when he was in uh, Fresno County. Oh, okay. So that was the first one uh, he did back in the hood, mm -hmm. okay. you know, and that was where they had to probably, I don't know how they did that shit, they probably put phones together, yeah, yeah, they you know, did. they probably do it easier now, but, so when we, he told us, he was like, cut him and I uh, did a, a CD, you know, yeah. we, was going, we was still going to court and trial. Right, right, right. Yeah. He was going crazy in there. He was hard, because yeah, we were yeah. telling him about the shit, you know, because right. the nigga was, all we was trying to do was get back to the crest, right, the hood, right, right, we wanted right. to be back in the hood, that's all, that was like perfect right on time. So everything's so we were innocent because we went to trial. That was our yeah, whole right. thing. Hell yeah. You know? Until now, you know, when you get older, you're like, oh shit, you don't even want to think you're innocent. Everybody right. else sees what the fuck you're doing and right. shit, but I still be thinking I'm innocent. I still hard for me to even talk about that shit. Right. Right. You know, Diggs, you know, yeah. that's my, you know, he more vocal with that shit. Right. You know, he'll say he robbed and he don't give a fuck. Right. So that motherfucker, you know. And then even with them, with all the old romper room CDs, all the all the early doobie shit, yeah. like it just seemed like y'all was having have a fun recording all that shit. You we know was, what I mean, it, you know? it, we was living in, in the moment. Yeah, it's right. Like, this is how we really living. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And and, and that's what and that's what's the difference. Like even I uh, tell my you know my son, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They they different though. They they doing their little rap thing, but it was different when we were right. doing our shit. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Living in it, we were really in the moment. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. yeah. Different generations, you feel me? But we were really selling crack yeah. and, 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 and so going to a show and like, man, we got crack on us at a show. Right. I'll sell yeah. dope at a show. Right, right. I'll say, yeah. I got crack on me. You want me? Yeah. I'm, like, well, I'm serving. I jump off the stage. Yeah, right. Go bust a knock on Quickly. Yeah, right. Quickly. Right. Right. Yeah. Deep what, yeah. Maybe I got to go. Maybe That's what we was really, go, we was really deep boys, and then, then we, and then we did. Like the time before we went to jail, we started robbing banks. So right. we was coming to stage bank robbers. Right, right, right. So we was we was mingling in a world that they were not They didn't know what the fuck they was dealing with. Right, right. I was on a whole different level. But Dre was really hard. He was like this yeah. nigga hard, like the two pops. Right, we was right. doing shows. Oh, no yeah, pop yeah. was our, you know, we was on on the time with them. Right. You know what I'm saying? So Dre you was meat pop We yeah, we we knew pop. We did a uh, show in the jungle and shit. And, uh, and it kind of went, it, it went, it went different, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because they, they jungle dudes be tripping. Yeah. So we, we got into a little, a little uh, it was kind of like a little altercation, kind of like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So we was kind of like, because we, Pocket did a, uh, came to the Nettles. And, and perform at the Nettles, and it was, you know, he was like, you know, it was cool. Yeah. You know, we know your song, we gonna be cool. Right, 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 right. So, but when we went to the jungle, it was kind of, it was different. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> it, it, it happened, one of my partners had got into one of their folks, and, you know, a little, a little scuffle. So, by the time we got on stage, they had found their partner that already you know, got into one of my partners. So they was tripping. Right, was so, fun. they was yelling, the jungle, the right, jungle, right. the jungle. Right. You know what I'm saying? We like, man, these dudes, they tripping. So we got on stage, and they the jungle. We like the crest, you know. They like the jungle. Like Fuck the rock room. We like, oh, these niggas are tripping. And we like, man, Tupac get left. Right. We like, oh, you ain't, you let your folks do this. Right. So we in our mind, we like, oh man, Pac did some bullshit. Right. You know, and back in them days, everything like a whole city get you get blamed, you blame, get blamed for the whole thing. Right. right. Like if one nigga do it, the whole you, the whole city you did the shit. Right. Right. So, you want just you no know, sections of, of a, you know, a Richmond, right. it's Richmond, it's Frisco, it's Frisco, it wasn't, you know, wasn't divided, Oakland, Oakland, you ain't gonna say no neighborhood, no, you gonna say Oakland dude, yeah. you gonna say Frisco dude, you yeah. gonna say Richmond dude, yeah. so we like, that Moran dude, right. nigga, Tupac was tripping, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> niggas know what I'm saying, they was tripping, they was tripping, yeah. nigga, until we, and then they got one way and one way out. Oh, okay. So you gotta go all the way around to get out they shit. So lucky my partner, by the time us going out, my partner had a little pistol and back, back, back and got him off of us for two right, seconds to get us to get in the car. Right. Them niggas was jumping over fences and everything. <laughs> we was like, oh yeah, pocket full of shit. Yeah, right? Yeah, but we, you know, ended up got cool at it, but he was, we was like, that's, that's some bullshit. Yeah, it set us up for failure. Come on, but y'all made it out alive. That's we made it like a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. And then our other partners was going in. They had to get into the end, to get out. It was, it was, it was, we had to get, it was, hell yeah. We branched out. You know, bank robbery, that ain't something we thought about doing. It just ended up becoming something that was a hustle. Right. We just all stopped selling dope and started robbing. Right, you was coming on fatter, more weight. More yeah, it was getting like yeah. fifty to a hundred thousand dollar weight. Yeah, come on, young niggas. Huh? Man, yeah. like yeah. young, like, yeah. but we, the only thing, like I said, we was, that young that we didn't know nothing else but right. the hood. So right. our thing was we just might get a Chevy right. and spend fifty thousand dollars on mm -hmm. and beat. That's when beat was costing. You know, you gonna put you gonna cost Shit, pay like twelve thousand just right. to have some beat zap codes and yeah. four fifteens and we was having all the hatches on you. Yeah, but we was also young niggas that was having girlfriends right, at the right. time. Mm -hmm. We had kids and we yeah, was like, yeah. I had kids. That's what my son is. Right, right. And where he at? Uh, and I, was like, yeah. I had kids and I was like sixteen, fifteen. We was yeah, always doing it. Yeah, yeah. girlfriends. Apartments and shit. Yeah, really high. Yeah, yeah I told y'all I was selling dope. keys at, at already at a young age. Yeah. yeah. The Trail TV came out on what the early 2000s. No, with 2002. 2002. 2003. I remember mm -hmm. we was talking about doing it, and the first day we start filming, we uh, we going down and sat. We in sat. We pull up on a uh, 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 like it's a bike thing. Right. Motherfucker on the motorcycles, you know, yeah, yeah. Pepsi Cola. I think they were yeah. doing a commercial. So when Dre come over there, all these motherfuckers is Mac Dre fans. Hmm. Every biker and man, we Dre this Dre. I'm like, so Dre like you know doing the Mac Dre <laughs> shit. Dude, kind of they drunk already, yeah. drinking beer and all that. Dude, don't supposed to jump into tomorrow. Uh -huh. They ain't got the Pepsi shit set up. The 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 uh, the ramp. Yeah. So dude, like, I'm gonna jump for Matt Dre. And they said, I'm gonna jump for Matt Dre. Oh, so we yeah. like, oh, they were like, no, don't. The people telling him, don't do it. He's not jumping for Matt Dre. like, no, I'm jumping for Matt Dre. We like, yeah, we got our cameras. <laughs> Trail TV. Trail TV. Trail television. So, so we ain't tripping. So niggas get off. He do the shit, but he already, like, wiggling a little bit on the bike. So he get set up for the shit. Man, this motherfucker, great. Do the, do the jump. We looking. I'm like, damn, I seen him jump. Man, I don't look like dude gonna make it on the <laughs> I'm looking, this motherfucker don't look like he, he already starting off slow. I'm like, oh shit, this nigga ain't making it. This motherfucker going, going. This motherfucker hit the guess right here. That nigga flipped over Dude. and died. We was Damn, like, he died. He died, but you know, oh, when I'm like, oh, God, that was damn. the thing, though. So we like, this nigga dead. Oh, I'm like, All right, I'm so, so this we yelling out, right? We like, oh, man, we like tripping. 
so when he he, he did something, we made a move. Right. So that's when we he started. Like, oh, okay, oh yeah, this nigga yeah. died. So we start we start out calling people on the phone. I'm like, man, it's a man that died. Yeah. These people looking at us like, man, y'all, what is wrong with y'all? Y'all, yeah. y'all think this funny? They just jump for you. He just crashed. Man, this, Dre, <laughs> man, this nigga Dre said, uh, you get it first here. Yeah, right. Man, them people were so mad. You get it first here. I remember that yeah. on the trail team. Man, this was a humbug. Yeah. I swear to God, uh, man, we had that. Riding over there and dude saw Dre and said, I'ma jump for you. Right. He was tipsy and he I was that nigga died. What did Dre we, say when it happened? You get it first on <laughs> Trill T. A B C somebody said, none of these people, I, you get it first. Yeah. Uh, Some like, people. Hey, that was good. We couldn't believe it. We was like, man, it's meant for us to make this. <laughs> like, how you get some footage like this on the first day out? This nigga <laughs> died on <laughs> died. Oh, we was like Don't shit. Lady, yeah, you already knew, man. You, you couldn't camera. believe it. Huh. Once Classic we saw him do his thumbs up, we start filming. We like, we you know, you know if he would die, we wouldn't really. Yeah. We was probably, we probably not. Nah, we probably filmed it still. Yeah, that's probably, crazy. I don't bro. know. Yeah, we probably still filmed it. Yeah, uh, Doobie was already rapping with y'all around that time. Yeah, Doobie. See, uh, we went to jail. Like I told you, Doobie and them. We got out. Doobie and them had record deals. Right. This niggas could have went to the uh, fucking. College. Oh, he was playing football. Right? All the shit. Nigga had scholarships. Nigga broke OJ record in Frisco. All the shit. Come on, he he couldn't get all the shit, but he ended up getting uh, a music money. It was equivalent to right now money instead of waiting going through the years of college. Right. And you know, probably you know the money back in that day we got was was right. that was money. Yeah, yeah. So he he went in and did his music shit. So by the time Dre got out, Doobie was already on. Yeah. So Doobie the first nigga that put Dre on the first CD when he got out. Okay, mm. it was later after that. Yeah, I'm a Sugar Wolf. Or yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, uh, yeah. yeah, the game I be spinning. Yeah, uh -huh. that, that right there. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah that's that's that classic. Yeah. When he made that song, doing my thing. That's the album oh, yeah, that Dre yeah, on. Yeah. Okay, that's, 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 that's the that's the uh, that's the album that he signed. With. They signed on Atlantic Record. Oh, that's okay. the uh, deal with Kyrie. Oh, Vicious okay. that's that's that whole album. Yeah, Kyrie. Uh, yeah. Let that my play. Used to always play that song. He messed that. I think, I think he uh, they lost that deal or something. And by the time Dre got out, that's when we ended, they ended up starting Romp Records. Oh, Hell yeah. yeah. Classic yeah. shit. Yeah, that, that's from that's from Rock. That was '96 started. Uh, you made something. I think I don't know if it was a song or an album, a thousand grams or something like that. Yeah, that was like more of a uh, compilation. And I really don't even do shit like that. Right. And the cold thing is, when I did that shit, I was uh, I think it was a million dollars worth of cocaine in front of me. I looked at the uh, Tony Montana. Yeah. I took that image. And them niggas get a fucking indictment right there. Damn. So it looked like I was. <laughs> it looked like I was the uh, kingpin of the, uh, yeah, the operation. The, yeah. Yeah. Kilo He's Curtain. Yeah, yeah, I said, yeah, I don't yeah, yeah. I right never do. Huh. I don't even do album covers. Huh. I, said, man, I, I, said, man, I said, man, I ain't never doing them up. Yeah, after this one, look. Uh, yeah, hell yeah. I'm telling you. I had guns, Uzi. <laughs> oh, everything that gets you indictment on that mother. I'll okay. tell you, that's main. A thousand grand. And I named the thing a thousand, a thousand grand. grand I, right. yeah. I used to call my, so I used to say my camera nigga begging to go to jail. Grand. That's crazy. I used to say the camera was my thousand grands. That's my break. That's yeah. what I used to say, you feel me? That's yeah, that's funny. shit. Yeah. That's what stood out to me when I seen them. Like, that was going to be asking me about that. Yeah, on the uh, so it's the same team, the uh, Mandela's. Uh -huh. So they got it. They had a motherfucker, you know, in, in jail. You know what I'm saying? They be having like like punks and shit. Like you know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. So we we call them we call them and then we call them like gumps and shit. Gumps. So that's like you know so yeah. uh, you know uh, so this motherfucker raw though, right. like like one of the hardest motherfuckers in baseball and softball and <laughs> the and shit. So I end up. As we start playing, you know, we start playing with each other, this motherfucker on our team. You know, I know the motherfucker, the motherfucker, they call the motherfucker Tasha. Tasha. <laughs> this motherfucker is a white man, nigga, with hair, his hair blew out, he don't got no hair right here. Oh, that's Manny. Motherfucker was a punk though, so, right, right, right. you know, and it's, it's some, so, <laughs> motherfucker play baseball and do all the shit, bro, as a motherfucker. Right. So, Tasha. so I ended up getting a team, it was called Second and None. Really, <laughs> my partner had a team. But he ended up going to the hole. This nigga named uh, my partner from Portland named Chuck Pretty. This motherfucker had a team. This nigga named Chuck Pretty. This motherfucker didn't, you know, <laughs> you know nigga called himself Pretty. Yeah, you know, yeah. That motherfucker was crazy about it. Black motherfucker too. Chuck Pretty. Couldn't tell that nigga. He wasn't trying. Can't, can't tell, tell nothing. Man, so. With a name like Chuck Pretty. Yeah. So this nigga go to the hole. So I ended up taking over the team. Uh -huh. Me and Big Don. So I'm trying to build people. And I know this motherfucker Tasha. So 
I'm asking when I was on the Mandela, my my uh, the coach of that team, Dirty Red. So I asked him, man, you know, uh, what's up with you? He said, man, you gotta go talk to Big Mel. I said, what you mean, talk to Big Mel? He says, you know, that's the, the that's the, her dude. <laughs> <laughs> Pin shit too much. Yeah, fuck right. it, this is the rule. I don't give a fuck. I don't, give, I don't give a fuck about that. Jerry shit. So, <laughs> man, I go over to the motherfucker. Big male, this motherfucker, this motherfucker be having all the punks. This nigga got about seven punks. <laughs> motherfucker got the, uh, this motherfucker got the, uh, you know, like the blanket. Yeah. Picnic basket. <laughs> He got punks, this motherfucker. Yeah. So he a big nigga, like a big male. This yeah. motherfucker throwing punks up, like playing with him. You know how kids, you play with your kid? He trolling these motherfuckers. Bro. So I'm like, God damn, the pins are fuck it. The pin, I don't give a fuck. Right? So. I'm just trying to build a team. So I go over there. I'm like, uh, big male. He's uh, up, throwing So I said, big male. He said, yo, you want that bitch Tasha, huh? Uh, on your team, huh? Uh, I said, yeah, man. He's like, yeah, that bitch good, huh? I'm listening. I'm like, man. This Man, he making me call this motherfucker a bitch. I'm like, fuck it, yeah. <laughs> so, motherfucker get on my team. This motherfucker used to come to the game. Uh, you know, you think y'all see that shit on TV. That shit really is in real life. That motherfucker should be in the bleachers. Yeah. But these motherfuckers, they yelling. This motherfucker, Tasha was good as a motherfucker, though. He played third base on my motherfucking team. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. A punk. He was wrong. Was a yeah. hit, hit, he had to go recruit him. Man, motherfucker did a jump in his arms and Come shit on. when he hit a home run. <laughs> you know, you know, you winning you in the game and shit, but hell yeah, that motherfucker. That shit. Big male, that motherfucker be twirling the motherfucker. You in there like a kid, you even picking, catching them and shit. That's I'm like, God, that's God, that's damn, that's, that's a hell of a shit right here. Yeah, we yeah, second now we was hell of a I had every good nigga on the team. When did the backwoods hit the Yay area, man? Uh, I was in uh, I was in the uh, pen, but uh, the Frisco uh, 49ers went to the Super Bowl in '94 in Miami. So my partner in Miami, his name is Mike Lott. He used to be uh, this one back when, when we was in jail. He was down. He was doing a uh, hype man for N2D. He's calling him Lott. So he went out there. He said when he got out there, you know, my was you know, smoking backwoods, doing right, different right. shit. Right. So when the Frisco won. Uh, the Super Bowl, he named himself Miami, California. Miami, California. Yeah, mm -hmm. and came back with Backwoods in 1994. That's crazy, and that's when they hit the scene. Yeah, and then when Dre got out, which in 96, they was already smoking it. Dre took it to another level. But you know, we was on federal parole. Yeah. And we, we don't supposed to smoke. Right. So, I ended up talking to Dre from the pen on the phone. Yeah. I'm like, Cuddy, you know what I'm saying? He's like, man, Cuddy, nigga, it's this new shit. You can smoke, nigga. It's a thousand percent guarantee you won't catch a dirty. You know, he said in the back of the book, a high time. <laughs> in the back of the book. <laughs> I'm like, for real? He said, yeah, nigga, when you got, out, nigga, we smoking big. I'm smoking big <laughs> right now. Fuck. Man, I talked to that nigga about two weeks later. He said, cut, you wouldn't believe this shit. I said, what? He said, I got 14 dirties. Wow. <laughs> nigga went on the run. That's when he made Stupid Doodle -doo Dunk. Yeah, he I'll made it on the run. Wow, so he went back to the feds. So so this nigga thought he could smoke weed. I guess he was reading the back of the high time. But that nigga was like a thousand percent <laughs> guarantee, Cuddy. When you get out watch, nigga, it's gonna be big. Right. That nigga called, I'm telling you, 14 dirty. That's Manny, yeah, that's Man. all the way. You all the way. He said, Cuddy, I'm a fugitive now. I said, what? He said, he said, I'm a run. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah, then funny. he went back, and that's when I like I say, when I when I got out, dread uh he went back and he got out two months before I got out. So I went and did I did my whole bid, right, right. and Dre went and got out and came back and did a violation. Mm. So I got out like two months after Dre. Okay. So we got out in '99. The, who introduced Mac Dre to backwards? Wasn't like Doobie or somebody? It had to be it, yeah, Doobie. Probably as soon as he got out, like right. I can see all the case. Yeah. They were smoking. The crush was already turned out. Right. What, what's what's your favorite memory with Mac Dre? Cause I know that y'all was hella tight. So. Hello, man. It's just yeah, like right. I said, it's unlimited. You know, right, so it right. can be good memories, right. whatever kind of memories. It right, just, right. it just, you know, yeah. that nigga was just a. Uh, he was hella, uh, uh, hella funny. Like right. he was like he what he was, what he rapped about. That nigga was a hell of a character. Right. I used to be thinking when he was turning into these different shit. I used to be thinking some of that shit was Bootsy and shit. Right. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. 
but that nigga knew what he was doing. Oh, yeah, he was really, time. yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. nigga, I remember one time nigga come out, this nigga got on some, some fucking gym shorts, like a whole little shit, and he got his fucking socks rolled up. I'm looking at him. I'm like, man, that shit, that nigga is crazy. <laughs> he had an afro, he had his uh, uh, headband on. I'm like, man, I'll never. In my mind, I'm like, man, I'll never do that shit. This nigga, they gonna crack up when they see this nigga. Man, they saw him at 80 in my life. Every day he was doing it, and like I, then I start understanding. Right. I'm like, this nigga is different. Yeah. Like, when we was in the pen, uh, now I understand, that nigga used to study being rich. Mm, okay. So when we got out, it was kind of hard for me to uh, get comfortable with just spending all my money. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, man, I can't. I can't do it like that. <laughs> but he showed me, like, man, you know, this is for the moment. Right. Money don't last, so right. if you got a bigger picture, right. then you gotta spend all your money for this car. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? That's what I, he always did. That nigga used to go and go buy Benz. This one Benz when 500s was in. I mean, he spent a hundred eight thousand dollars from yeah. a check off a rap check. Yeah. Then he went and got the G wagon, spent right. eighty five thousand. Mm. Then he went and got the Rover. He spent that's when the Rover he spent eighty six. He was just shit. I swear to God, this boy is all pal. I'm like, man, this nigga was doing. Right. And then, then when, when we, this is what made me know that the nigga was different because I never like, you know, I've been around him all the time, so I never tripped right. on the value of what he was doing. Right. He's wearing the Bearberry jackets, all that shit. When we went and like buried him and try to, you know, mimic what he had on, man, that shit came up to like $50,000. That nigga had a, his glasses he was wearing, that motherfuckers right. was like 23 bands. Mm. We were thinking we were gonna pay fifteen. Right, right. I was like, God, increase in value. Man, no, that nigga would know. Nah, this yeah. is how much he was spending. Oh, okay. I didn't know them jackets was eighty six hundred. Them Burberry right. shit he was wearing. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. I was thinking niggas wearing that shit because he wear it with some Adidas or something. Yeah. And he had that shit yeah. throwed up on the ground. And I see the glasses every like. You know, yeah, hell of them motherfuckers yeah. different. Uh, you know what I'm saying, Cardi? He had all that shit. The Versace he had all that shit. I, the Gucci, he was Louis. Peace. He was peace. I would never go by. And nigga, we was in. We went to Alaska. Mm -hmm. And nigga went and bought a Timberwolf. We went out there. I made it out there t uh, three days before them. It kind of tripped me because we all, me, him, and Ryder supposed to went together. Right. So somehow, I don't know what happened in between the tickets, but I end up where Ryder and Dre missed the flight. So you know, it was a holdover in Seattle. You know, you gotta go to the holdover and then you get on Alaska Airlines and go to Alaska. Right. So I'm in Seattle and them niggas didn't come. I'm like, man, where them niggas I am on the plane? Yeah. So I called, they still in the, and really in Frisco. Mm. Ryder somewhere else, but Ryder coming different. Dre is in Frisco. I'm like, man, I'm coming back. Right. Dre was like, man, you better not come. I'm like, man, I'm telling you, I'm not going to Alaska without no, I don't know nobody yeah, out yeah. there. He like, man, that's your job. I'm like, man, I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> I'll like, quit today. He trying to pull that shit, cuz. So he like, man, you gotta go. So he's like, I'm gonna call your mama. He know if he call my mama, you know, my mama gonna make me go. <laughs> <laughs> he don't pay for I'm gonna call your mama. Hey, the coach, Mac Dre, yeah. everybody so, wanna call so, your mama. So, no, so I'm like, all right, it's cool. cool. All right, so I, I'm like, man, let's see, I'm hella mad. Stomach, you know, I get nervous on planes, so I start getting sick. So. When I get on the, uh, uh, I get on the plane, so I go to last. I get there. Niggas come pick me up. Niggas is cool though. Right. Break a nigga, I'll give a nigga weed, get a nigga spot, all the shit. So I'm calling Dre, they ain't came yet. So it's night, I'm kind of sick a little bit. So the next day, I get up, hella niggas want verses from Dre. Right. I instantly tell him, man, $6,000. Right. Them niggas was breaking, man. I'm telling you, when that nigga <laughs> get off the plane, him and Rob charging whatever for Ryder. I forgot uh, like 20, whatever. But I gave Dre like close to about like three, about 30 racks and Ryder like about 15 to 18 racks, whatever That's it was. Crazy. So we go to the place where, you know, they do the shit. So they they telling us they go kill animals and skin them and put them on a the motherfucker. So these motherfuckers costing hella money. Dre the Timberwolf Dre 
One, that shit, that mother, that shit was like thirty-seven thousand. I'm like, Cuddy, you crazy? He's like, thirty-seven for the like, Timberwolves. He's, he's, he's like, they gonna go kill a Timberwolf though, Cuddy. <laughs> they got, got, they gonna go kill him and skin him for me and all. I'm like, <laughs> man, I was. So I had about like fifteen racks on me. So my range, it's like a little. A fox or something. Quarter <laughs> lift. Like, man, I'm sure. he's like, cut him. I said, I wish I would. Then you get a quarter lift. Uh uh. I ain't spending no fish. He's like, cut you gotta do it. I'm like, I, man, uh uh. I'm like, you crazy if you do it. He's like, nigga, I, he, I complain so much, he act like he wasn't doing it. So I don't know what he did, but I swear to God, nigga, end up getting this timber wood. That's crazy. Look, we was coming back from the airport and we came into Sac Airport. Man, they was looking at that nigga like King Joffy Joseph. Yeah, he was walking through. They was like, who the fuck is this man? That nigga was walking through Sac Airport. Yeah. On our way back. They was like, who is him? He's the king or something? Yeah, it's Timberwolf fucking hanging he's out like, his body. I told you, Cuddy, see? I told you. It's yeah. worth it. They was eating him like, I bought hella like, that's when the, uh, when the throwbacks came out. Yeah. I bought damn near that shit. Yeah, hell yeah. It's crazy. That nigga had the Tim Wolf. Then we went to a club. He's dumb piece for that. Hang swear, on. We, we coming up to a club and sat. It's, man, it's about, about 50 of us. You know how you walking up to the club. Yeah. The owner can see that we hyphy because niggas is already dancing right. before they get there. Right. Yeah. Doing all yeah. kinds yeah. like oh, Shows outside. But shit. nigga Dre got the timber was wrong. <laughs> the owner say, man, Dre, you is so fucking honest. Man, I can't let all these niggas in. Dre said, I ain't going in with all my niggas. Right, right. He said, man, you'll make my club so big. You know, he trying to talk yeah. Dre in. Right, right. He's like, I ain't going in with all my niggas. Yeah. So Dre didn't go in. So them niggas dance all night. In front of this club, but that Timberwolf, man, I couldn't believe that nigga spent about thirty nine thousand on that. He's like, I told you, Cuddy. Yeah, I saw him. They were like, they were, they were just amazed. Right. right. Like, who is this motherfucker? He got a wolf on. Yeah, <laughs> that shit was white. Yeah, it was, Timberwolf. It was, it was man, that shit was down to his knees. I'm it's telling you. Like, was he wearing that on the cover or something? Nah. Uh-huh. Was it? Cause I, I wore. It. I had it before. Uh-huh. You know, I got. You know, I got that. You know, I got right it. There, that's where. Not chinchilli, but what is that right there? That's it. That's yeah, that's, 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 that's what I was talking that's about. It. Yeah, he's wearing it on the cover. That stuff. motherfucker cost 39000 yeah. You see that motherfucker? Yeah. That's a timber wolf. Look at it. Yeah. Look at yeah. it. Yeah. Man, that's this print is pretty, pretty yeah. fucking that's amazing. That's that classic. That's that nigga walking through the airport like that. They was like, what is That nigga's a king. That nigga's a king. That's, that's that man Gray shit. Yeah, that nigga was different. So yeah. I, I promise you. Hypey is uh something that's already been, you know what I'm saying? At like just the Bay Area. Mm-hmm. Like right. the Oakland dudes, you know what I'm saying? Just right. you know what I'm saying? But it it, it, it what I mean when I when I say Hypey, I might see four dudes are coming to party. Right. And they over 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 movement. Right. They on some hypey shit. Right. Mm-hmm. It might be some smirking shit too. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, right. These niggas full of shit. High yeah, octane. Yeah. High yeah. octane. Cause them niggas hype. Them yeah. niggas, them niggas hype you over there. Cause he watch them. Right. So it's more like you know what I'm saying. You gotta watch them yeah, niggas. Yeah, watch them. You know what yeah. I'm saying. It ain't about you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Dancing and having fun, yeah. but it's about niggas some movement. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. But it was more you know what I'm saying accumulated to. You know we was already hype. You know what I'm saying. Right. We was already going dumb and yeah. being stupid anyway. So it's just a, it's a big cultural, yeah. it's like a cultural thing. You know what I'm saying? So you so you should still talk to Mandre's mom a lot? Yeah, that's that's my mother. So, uh-huh. you know, of course, you know, that's that's Mac I Wanda, gotta do. You know, she, yeah, she uh yeah, she's she yeah, she's very uh on point with everything. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So I, you know, it's like I, she look over everything, you know, me and man, everything I do, so oh, it, it, and then, you know, so yeah, that's that's Automatic. What you up to now? Like you, like are you managing? Like who? No, I don't, I don't, I don't, I uh, don't do no managing. But my, uh, you know, my sons is, uh, you know, in the game. They, they be doing their thing. You know, the S O B R E. Yeah, uh, my sure. kids and shit. So they, uh, they got a, a hell of a uh, thing. So I've been, I traveled with them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's a different road now. Yeah, you know, being yeah. with youngsters, yeah. and it's different. Yeah. For me looking in and, and looking at it. Yeah. It, 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 it's crazy because we went to uh like we went to Miami. We drove from here to Miami. How long that take? That shit took uh, like three and a half days there, and about like three and a half, like seven days. All we st- like a whole week. That's crazy. And then, would y'all go in a, like a van or something? Uh, like a uh, you know one of them uh the airport 
van, shuttle yeah, van, shuttle yeah. Van, Sprinter, F- yeah. fifteen yeah. passenger nah, van. Nah, we we need if we had been a Sprinter, we'd been luxury. Nah, we mm-hmm. went with nigga, it was rough. Mm-hmm. Why like, you going to jail? And they just taking <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, just yeah, going hella far. They, they just yeah. driving you. You just like yeah. God damn. Mm-hmm. They they still ain't here. Yeah, Not right. Them trips, and we had hella weed. Every city was saying can't smoke weed in. All I kept saying, man, we going to prison. Right. But we had a camera person. We was like, this film. Fucking film, man. I kept telling them, y'all niggas gonna be like the five hour beat, right. the scene, right. and they pull us over. Start singing that. Nothing but love. Nothing but love for me. That's how you should do. Yeah, cause we was, nigga, we was in the, the boonies, right, right. literally. Yeah. At one time, I was on the road. I was on the road driving. I was driving. It was hella windy. Them niggas sleeping on the road. Right, right. I was driving. It was hella windy. Them niggas sleep. I swear, a nigga, I died about 50 times. Niggas never woke up. In my mind, I said, I should really die to let these niggas know that these niggas don't give a fuck. <laughs> niggas never woke up. I'm talking, the wind was knocking me over. I'm like, man, the gas was on low. I'm like, man, I'm dead. Them niggas never, nobody never woke up. Not one piece. That good weed. How many was y'all in the van? It had to be, uh, it was a 15 passenger. We was at the limit. We had to have about. Uh, 13 and a half men. Yeah, <laughs> and a half people in there. Yeah. They gotta go through it, cause they might, you know, even though I, uh, I might, I might even do it like this, and they might do it better, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. So, mm-hmm. you know, it, 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 it's like to be, you want somebody after you to be better than you. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Period, period. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're gonna take it to the next level. Yeah, so the bar's like already that. set hella high, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Mac Dre yeah. is their uncle, and Kilo, they daddy. Right. So, they, they, they into music, right. but I don't, I don't, they don't even use it like that that's why i you know respect you yeah, know what, saying, what they got going they don't they don't they don't they don't use it like they could you right, know what right, i'm saying right. they know who they they, they uncle and they pops is so let's feel that they doing it themselves and right. me being on the road with them you know what i'm saying and they young yeah. so just imagine kids coming straight out my backyard or you know my my other folks backyard you know what i'm saying master yeah. p pan your house to doing to yeah. now it's your big life yeah. that's how quick it happened that's dope mm-hmm. bro that's dope. That's probably. Simon Street thing. to then they got a deal and now they're hitting tours up with everybody, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Cause we like I said, that tour we went on was with, with the Post Malone tour. That shit was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, cause yeah, that, cause like I really saw it in my them niggas is them niggas hard. And yeah. then, you know, to to see my kids come out the neighborhood and, and be repping, you know what I'm saying, we did yeah. twenty years ago. Right, right. To, to retro to what it's doing now, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And they doing it kind of different, yeah. but it, it, it still all adds up to the same, you know right. what I'm saying? Right, right. It add uh, it adds longevity to our story, you know what right. I'm saying? Say my sons is cracking. Yeah. But when I tell people that, my sons, they're like, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> I figured it, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, they're my sons, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, for sure. You do it, no, nah, no, nah, they do their own thing. Right. Niggas make their own money. Yeah. I'm just privileged, you know? Yeah. My bit blessing is that I don't have to give them money no more. Right? Yeah. Give me some money, nigga. Yeah, right, right. Here, right, now. Yeah, right. 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 So you feel like seeing what happened with Mac Dre and them, it's like how that whole experience, it's like living it again with them. But it like, kind of, it's, it's different because like I told you, uh, hip hop have changed. Right. It's more. Uh, it's the number one genre of music right now. Yeah, and, it, and, and if you, it's, a, it's a more of a job. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, like I say, we was more, like I say, coming from the streets. Right. And taking it it's like a, it's a blessing like, damn we bless and bless right. you know what i'm saying so after we get part, past all that stages you know them dudes got to take it more like like you know it's like the job i told mm-hmm. them it's like the dope game right, right you know what i'm saying so just like what i would do for the dope game they got to be willing to do for the rap game mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying just like i told them like it might be drake might be at his party and you know how the bay area is you know the people security so funny they might don't let you in because Drake here. Right. I'm like, if I was a rapper, nigga, I'm coming in there. Right. Nobody yeah. stopped me from seeing Drake. Yeah. This is like, that's how it would be for the dope game. Right. Like you ain't stopping me from selling dope. Right. Yeah. So that's how I look at, you know, that's why I told them y'all got to commit yourself to, to know that this is y'all new dope game. And right, shit. right. You know what I'm saying? And that's yeah. what we did it for, you know what yeah. I'm saying? We was doing it to get out the dope Yeah, game. to go legit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, so it's kind of different, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and and now these kids is different now. They, yeah. You know, the motherfuckers, you know, they, they mean a lot of that shit too with them guns. Yeah. Get smoked anywhere. So. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. 
What so be even before we end this interview, man, or not even interview the untold stories, what what type of food you be eating, bro? What you what you what you be dining on? What you be what's your diet like? Uh I don't really don't gotta die. I everything. <laughs> I I still eat pork and shit. Yeah, so I don't What's your eat. favorite food? Tacos and french fries. Tacos and french fries. <laughs> that juice on fire, right? yeah, yeah. That's it. For sure, hell yeah. I can live off this french fry. Right. Right. We too. Got to be the cut ones though. Yeah. yeah. The, the original ones. What's, yeah. what's your favorite Mac Dre album? Uh, my favorite Mac Dre song is Life Is a Bitch. When, right. yeah. when I first got out, I heard that motherfucker, and I was like, "Damn, the cutty is hard as fuck." Right. That's when I know it was like different. Yeah. Couldn't believe he was rapping like that. Yeah. That nigga, that was like. Yeah, that song. Yeah, and then that's not my job. Then yeah. fish, you know, because when yeah, we yeah. he did Fish Head Stew. We went to an Indian reservation. I didn't know these motherfuckers really be on that shit. Yeah, they be in some Indian. They was tripping because they was like, man, how do you know that the women trying to feed us fish heads through to fuck us up? I like, so that means Dre Pop was in a pen fucking with the Indians and shit. Yeah. Because he was hella smart. Yeah. So I tell you, that nigga was the smartest new I knew as far as that. Motherfucker, anything he say, he just he know what it means. Right, right. He might call and say, "Cut he with." Uh, look this up in the dictionary. Right. And if he said it, he know what the fuck it meant. Hell right. yeah. That's the difference. Yeah. That's and before he passed away, he said, Cuddy, I'm gonna start playing with words on these mm -hmm. niggas. And uh, if you y'all hear the one song, Rob Lowe did the beat. It's uh land saturated. Yeah. Listen to it and watch yeah. how many words. And yeah. he said predicates and that. Yeah. He yeah. said it, watch Cuddy, I'm gonna start playing with hella words. Yeah. Fuck with man crazy. That's tough to know where that fish head stew came from. You know, I didn't know that shit. Yeah. I didn't know either. We went yeah. to a, uh, because the reservation is up in, uh, uh, what's that part of Oregon? Yeah. Warm Springs, Oregon. Uh -huh. They got a reservation with a casino on that motherfucker. Yeah. And we do that. We go do a show. Yeah. And that's where you get We stay there three days. We stay at the casino mm -hmm. and we do a show on the reservation. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, the whole, it was all part of one shit. So, yeah. That's dope. I got kids in that for one of them motherfuckers. That's just man, man. Got a reservation, you know? Fresh out, uh, fresh out of jail, mm -hmm. they eat me alive. I thought, I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Indian and shit. Indians, it was on you. Yeah, I'm gonna run a kid. Well, right? So do you have do you any, do you have like a, uh, uh, like um, a message to any upcoming artists coming out the country? Do you have like a message you want to give them to, you know, probably stay focused or what that's, that could get them through the game? Do you have like anything to tell them? Uh, really, like I say, just uh, you just gotta uh, push and uh, you know what I'm saying. Stay to your craft and, and know that uh, you know that it's somebody always looking at you. And once you become, you know, into the game, then you become like public property. Right. So don't stop being so sensitive to right. what fans are, what right. you know, motherfuckers saying to you on Instagram right. or live. You know what I'm saying? Stop right. fucking so being so fucking sensitive. Right, right. motherfuckers be ready to die all that shit. <laughs> Oh, pull up, where you at? Oh, pull up. Yeah. Nigga, shut the fuck up. Right, right. <laughs> pull up nowhere. Yeah, all right. Yeah. That was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just different, you know what I'm saying? So I just tell him, man, just stick to your craft, man. Yeah. And make music, man. Yeah. That's the only thing, man. And save your money. Hell yeah, right. That motherfucker ain't gonna be here forever. Right. When did you open up this store? Um, we didn't have uh, the clothing thing for going two years but this I think this is about like a year yeah this is like you know yeah, just yeah. a little pop-up we you know the trend area the trend area coming out coming get a little shit yeah. you know California because like a POD you know we do different shit ain't just all this shit it's yeah. different different brands and, yeah, yeah. you know the main main thing you got the shoes Jordans everything in here yeah well they uh you know they're doing uh you know they uh niggas come bring their shit on uh, consignment and shit when they do sell it yeah, yeah. Yeah. When, when you be out at like in certain events in, the, in like you know in Frisco, Oakland, or wherever you go, people always run up to you, be like, "Bro, you Kilo Curry?" Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Make Dre, ooh, ooh, they be showing other love. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. So, at, at, at first, it kind of like you know, cause I like like was under. Yeah. And then like when uh, Thea's Nation started happening, D Ray started taking more pictures of me, and then we just they did the Instagram and they kind of. I just said, fuck it. Right, right, right. At first, I wouldn't, you know. Really fucking with it, yeah. Nah, I just said, you know, because when Dre was here, I was more on the background. Behind the scenes. Playing music, yeah, yeah, DJ. Yeah. I was his DJ. Oh, okay. People wouldn't even know that. Yeah, I didn't know 
I used to play all his music, but I wasn't really a DJ. Like, yeah, but you knew the song. Scratching yeah. and shit, yeah. but I'll <laughs> play the song and stop him and go yeah, and all yeah, that yeah. shit. I ain't saying like Run it back. Shit. Yeah, I do yeah. all that. Yeah. 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 It was a right. pleasure. It was a pleasure, definitely, bro, talking to you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Especially you know some of you out of Vallejo, California. Yeah. You know what I, mean? I've been, yeah. I mean, I've been slapping the, the music forever, bro. Yeah. I mean, I like you said, stupid dude, done everything before that. Yeah, in Vallejo, we had to fight, man. Yeah. Uh, and be part of the Bay Area because shit, you know, we got uh, cows and chickens and shit. Oh so, yeah, yeah. yeah. So baby, like oh y'all. At first, then they they see you know we powerful and shit. No oh, hell yeah. So oh, yeah, Vallejo. Yeah, but, yeah, Vallejo for sure. Always been a staple uh, in yeah. the Bay Area for yeah, yeah, I'll say we got a bridge, so we got to be from the Bay Area and shit. God damn. <laughs> you know, the Bay Area, it's hard to get, you know, it took us a, a, a while to, to push. Y'all proven up. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, classic Bay Area. Right? Yeah, for sure, yeah. Okay, yeah. what's your favorite jacket song? Uh, really, um, I like the, uh, the, the the Bay Area song where you talk about all the Bay Area. Oh, uh, yeah. on the first yeah. jacket yeah. album? Yeah. Yeah, that one's classic. I like him and uh, Cash song. Okay. The, uh, it's called the Mom Fella, the Hood Fella. Mm -hmm. That one's like, classic too. It's yeah, classic. Yeah. Rapping Hill Groups. Yeah, that, yeah, that's the one. That's, huh? yeah, that, yeah. Yeah. that's how I got on Cash and shit. Mm -hmm. When I heard that, that, that Ma, Camp Ma figure. Oh, yeah, yeah. Camp that's, how Ma I first hear, that's how I first heard Johnny Cash. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think and, that, that's what Drake, I first heard uh, too. We was looking for him, but he was in L.A. at the time. And then when we got back, that's how we started the uh, money game with him and Ryder. Yeah, okay. That was hard yeah. too. Yeah. 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 You still talk to you still talk to uh, Ryder? Ryder one of my he's one of my favorite rappers, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like his metaphors is, is, yeah. is yeah. out is outstanding, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> I feel you. Right? And he was always like my little little dad like fly and shit, so yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So like as it go on. Yeah, but all of them, you know what I'm saying? The yeah. whole mob like me and Jack had like a different kind of relationship, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We used to he the one that got me on battle rap. Mm, okay. I wasn't even hip to all that shit they right, were doing right, now when they be you know, all the people yeah, yeah, doing yeah. that shit. Jack yeah. used to be we used to be crazy and they was in the backyard before they even started getting real big like they doing now. Right, right, yeah. Yeah, Jack used to we used to be just getting hella high, lean and shit. Yeah. So that nigga that was my partner though. Big yeah. battle rap and R. P. the Jack. Yeah man, Jack had a, a couple projects together. Yeah. It was mobbing through the west and he did a Dre area with me too. Okay. He was on, on that motorcycle. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember that one. Yeah. Classic <laughs> shit, bro. Mm -hmm. Who are your five, top favorite <coughs> artists of all time from when you was growing up? Top favorite, dead or alive artists? Uh, growing up? Yeah. Uh, like hip hop artists, period. Period, bro. Um, shit, I, I grew up on, uh, I have to say, uh, who I like the most in that. I was grew up on Michael Jackson. Of course, right. and everybody in the everybody household. Oh, right. It was like you had to like whoever your family like then when I got into right. rap it was more like right. Randy MC. Right. You know what right, 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 right. was the people yeah. that start singing. Uh, then when I when I when I start understanding rap it was too short. Right, right. Not doing anything, then we ghetto boys, yeah. NWA. Right. We I didn't really go too far right. away from California. West Coast right, right, right. that. Now it was over after we heard NWA. Right. Too short. We heard Too Short in 84. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga, we heard him, he had a tape. Right. It was Blowjob Betty. Right, right. Nigga, we was on bikes. Right. We went, nigga, drove out the crest, way by the Continental Boys Club, right. to listen to this motherfucker. Mm. He was cussing. We were like, God damn, this nigga saying hell cuss words. He like he was slabbing. It was like 84. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. yeah. And like I busted nothing, I killed the bitch. <laughs> All kinds of shit. We was like, oh shit. Blow <laughs> job <laughs> Betty. Blow right. job Betty. We was like, this nigga is shit. Setting the bar high, yeah. He was cussing. Yeah, we like right. the first like <laughs> We couldn't believe it. We was like, nigga. So after that, nigga, that was like Short always been you know, like my favorite rapper. Mm -hmm. Like you have a relationship with Short? Yeah, I'm not sure. That's my that's also my friend. Okay. But before that, like we uh we had a uh, story back in the day. I don't know if y'all ever heard of T.Y. Uzi's records. Nah, no, I'm young. I'm okay, this is back in the Bay Area. They had one in Oakland Mall, and they ended up bringing one to Blail in our little shopping center. Yeah. So we was having an in-store. It was Too Short. It was us. I think 415. Okay. 415 was d Loc, Richie Rich, um, and DJ Doe Cut. Daryl. DJ Daryl. So, buddy, DJ Daryl. No, D. 
Okay, no, no. Matter of fact, DJ Dope Cut is Dangerous Dane. Oh, okay. DJ Daryl, mm -hmm. Richie Rich, and D Lo. Dangerous Crew. Mm -hmm. Dangerous Crew. Mm -hmm. So we doing an in store. So we come short. They everybody sitting at the table. Man, we instantly see short and go try to get an autograph from. Right, him. right, right. He was like, man, y'all tripping? Y'all my partners. He's like, man, we want to argue. He's like, no, man, y'all like y'all my partners, man. Yeah. Man, chill out, y'all sign, you know, y'all do y'all thing. Right. Like, he telling us to be stars, you know, we as right, partners. Right, right. After that, we just like being cool. And, right, and, right, and right, they yeah. started trying to sign us on dangerous music, you know what I'm uh, saying? Yeah, and yeah. Ted and uh, the niggas had their little thing. Right, right, right. Yeah, so after that, we was like, we always been short. Yeah, kept it cool. Now, all, now all of that is our favorite rapper. Then we get to be around this nigga. Right, that's big, yeah, right. that's dope. So that's we dope. was like, ugh, we around short. It's, it's, right, right. Yeah. As fans, you feel me? You know, you're saying that's Man, crazy. Nigga, we, nigga, this had to be 80, 80, 80 when Tone Low came out, wild thing. Yeah, oh shit. Nigga, they went to Santa Cruz. Too short and Tone Low. Man, that motherfucker was filled. That same building people be at. Oh, Jenga? But the whole city. It wasn't just right. young people. Right, right, everybody. I'm telling we was like, man, we never saw this many white people at once. That like, we couldn't believe they knew rap and right, right, too right. short now. Right. Mm. We was like, man, this is Santa Cruz. This is in 89. Mm. That's how long the, uh, that catalyst, whatever that club, yeah. that should been there. Just telling me I get that a catalyst, remember he was nigga, saying that? We, <laughs> nigga, we did that with Tone Loke and Too Short. We didn't get to perform, but we was coming, oh, nigga. Okay. They was in 500 Benzes. Nigga, we was driving Granadas. Nigga, we was going around them turn, you know, yeah, Granadas yeah. got fucked up with a yeah, line in the front. Yeah, nigga, yeah. we was down there flying off the curb, trying to keep up with right. these 500 bands. Right, right. Mm -hmm. But we was like, nigga, we was like, that's too short, man. We was like, yeah, fuck we, it. We, 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 we drove yeah. Granadas out there. We yeah, had back-to-back yeah. -back Granadas. They was in bands. Right. Short had a burgundy one, and I think Ted had a white one, and then nigga Chris Hicks had a green one. Mm. Cool, 500 yeah, yeah, yeah. bins, nigga. This is an 88, 89. Right. That's how dope the niggas was. Well, that's dope. You get to see like the whole transition from niggas start wearing the jackets. That's when we start saying, damn, we gotta be like dangerous music. We're wearing the jackets. We gotta start getting us yeah, some yeah. mop jackets. Fly. We was young, but we was we was saying it short, and we was already had deals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we he was already on job. Yeah. So we was following up on that, but we was independent. Right. So we like this is how it's beat, nigga. Right, we right. D boys. Right. Right. Niggas was selling dope, and we sell dope. So this, we gotta be like too short. Right. Dre used to say D boy B boys. Man, that nigga, that's what we was. We right, were real. Right. That's what we is. Right. We were D boy B boys. Right. We grew up to break dancing right. and selling dope. Right. Dude. Hip hop. You know classic, what I'm classic shit. Yeah, we classic like. Man, I grew up yeah. on B Street and all that shit. I grew up Electric all that boogaloo shit. and all that. All that shit. We grew up break yeah. We knew breaking. About that shit. I, all breaking, that shit. I did open all the window that shit. On the yeah. <laughs> Cutting up and shit. That's why Dre always be animated. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. He grew up through every time and shit. You feel me? And that and that's one thing. Like you, you get to experience hip hop when it was hard to be a hip hop artist. When it was like it was like okay, you you're going from public enemy number one to see now your sons. It's like oh, it's a cool fucking thing to do. You know what I mean? So yeah, because yeah, now they like I say they pop stars. They yeah. be at the Rolling Loud. Cause I be that's what you know they be performing at. Yeah, hell yeah. I'd be like, God, a damn, yeah, it's, it's, my son's it's a different my era. Sons is in it. Yeah. Man, he's got platinum plaques and shit, mm -hmm. and gold Very records true. and shit. That shit that is big. Be you know? Yeah, that shit is big. And, and, and a, lot, a lot of people knew, like you said, that there was a, those are your sons, and, and they see the origins of where the shit came from. Like, yeah. Pops, was been, they been right. rapping this in their blood, you feel right. me? So it's a family yeah, thing. Yeah, th that's what's dope about it. But like I say, I, I, I don't mean trying to take credit for that shit right. because it, it's, it's different. Yeah, but but you also got to look at the way that the, what how they grew up. But they're like looking I at know, you. I understand you know that, saying? but you got to have heart to do that. Yeah, shit. hell yeah. Niggas going around the world. Yeah, you got to yeah. be a strong. That's like getting sent off to college. Mm -hmm. Them dudes be on the road, they yeah. tour buses. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Uh, so it's it'd be more kind than of, them. It's more than they them. just left the house. The niggas just doing hella shit in the neighborhood, being hella bad, right. <laughs> literally. Right. To, to what they had now, so it, it's, it's a it, blessing. It's a blessing for yeah. sure. God is good. Yeah, that's all dope. on the board for yeah, sure. That's peace. Yeah. yeah. Dre, Dre was into dogs like pit bulls and stuff like that. Man, this nigga Dre was into anything that with money, right. but he when he bullshit, he get them right. and leave them because he gave he had two dogs that he left with me. Right. I ended up leaving with him. I didn't know what to do with him. I took him to a bride house. He ripped door fence. Damn. She was complaining. 
That's the only story she gets. She had bad stories about us. Wow. I didn't have no choice. I don't know what to do with that. They was hitter dogs? They, were, they, was, yeah, they ripped through the fence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that was it. They're dogs, motherfucking dogs. He didn't shit. want them motherfuckers. He just get them for the time being. Yeah. Everything he do, like I say, he gonna overdo it. He like, like I say, they when they did the U.S. Open, him and Mac Maul tripped out story. This nigga, uh, you know, he did the, the Andre Agassi and yeah, the, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So this nigga. Drake pulls up. McEnroe. That's Andre Agassi and Maul yeah, McEnroe. Yeah, McEnroe. Okay. So, this nigga Drake pull up. I saw, I already knew he was going to be with hella shenanigans. Uh -huh. Nigga open the back of the Range Rover and nigga pull out rackets, tennis rackets. Put them on like he walking with, like he already played tennis. Hella serious and shit. This is just a uh, photo shoot. Yeah. Do the tennis shit. Then after he do one photo shoot, Nigga, rip off his suit. He got something under this shit. Mom, he got one, two. Mom, yeah. like man, y'all didn't tell me this nigga. I said, man. Yeah, he, he got outfit changes. Yeah, about five of them. Oh, he was hitting tennis man. balls. He ain't never. I was like, man, this that nigga. Oh, yeah, that's how he's over the top shit. Like, yeah, he was like we did the Ronald Reagan. Mm -hmm. You see, I had Burberry coat, yeah, yeah. Uh, Burberry uh, yeah, suitcase, the glasses. That nigga, yeah, genie lamp. Nigga, yeah. even we went. We had to tell the people that. It was a uh, we was going to a uh, Iranian a wedding. Mm -hmm. You know that's you know that's the Iranian. They be yeah. tripping on that shit. Yeah, yeah. They don't right. let you just buy that shit. Yeah, right. They're like what y'all want with that? We was like we were going to an Iranian wedding. Right. So like, that's why Drake got all that genie. Yeah, yeah. They was tripping on that. They didn't yeah, want right. us to. So, so they didn't want to dance it like that. Like we mocking them. You right, know what I'm right, saying? Right. Like what the fuck y'all doing? Yeah, yeah. Fuck, use it as a costume. That shit was real. That shit cost it. Yeah, like right. I had to find a little genie thing. I had to go hella far to find that shit. A genie in a lamp? Yeah, on the cover. As soon as I found it, I found a thousand of them after that. Damn, Couldn't, right? I was so mad. Yeah, yeah. It was everywhere. I said, man, I went to a million stores, <laughs> antique stores, and found it. And finally, after that, it was everywhere. Yeah, right? That's yeah, how I it still works out. Got there. I still got there, the genie in a lamp. That's dope. Yeah, they have my own cover, yo. Man, that, man, we appreciate you, bro. Yeah, yeah so I'm gonna tell stories yeah. forever. This is legendary right here. Yeah, Real shit. you feel me? Like Coming live and direct from Come three on, C's. You yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Down there. Yeah. Peoples, man. Yeah. Yeah. Right here at the it's trend right area, right here in Pinot, California. Yeah. Yeah. Pull up, man. They got all the gear. They got Jordans, all the this gear, and graphic tees, DTG on demand. You dig, and we out. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.